Rank Math has always shown ways to improve your content, just like any quality plugin should, but we wanted to go beyond that. So we created Content AI to offer recommendations especially fitted for your content, whether it's a blog post, a product page, a landing page, or anything else. We use our proprietary algorithms and deploy our own AI server to obtain meaningful suggestions that you can incorporate in your content to make it more suitable for better rankings. To use this new feature in Rank Math, you need to open the plugin's dashboard and activate the module. Click on Settings to select among over 80 supported countries. You can also define the post types for which the content AI will be available. Then, we will show how many credits there are left, which means how many times you can still run the analysis. You can buy more credits with the link that we left in the description. Don't forget to hit the Save Changes button. It's also possible to limit the users with access to Content AI with Rank Math's Role Manager. Now, Content AI will be in your page editor. In the Classic Editor, it will appear in the sidebar. In Gutenberg, Elementor, and Divi, the Content AI button will be on the top of the Focus Keyword field in the General tab of Rank Math's Metabox. The top of the tab will have the country you selected in the settings, or worldwide if you didn't change the default. Right under that, you'll find the total number of credits left. We offer free credits so you can test out the feature, but if you ever run out, you can upgrade your plan to get more through that link which we left in the description. Then comes the keyword field. You can use what was already there as a focus keyword, or type a new one. When you finish typing and press research, we will run the analysis. Each analysis uses one credit, but all of that keyword data will be stored on your server, so when the same keyword is used again, the same data will appear without using a new credit. However, if you refresh it to get the latest recommendations, a new analysis will use an additional credit. The first score, on a scale from 0 to 100, applies to the whole content. This is different from Rank Math's SEO score, because the Content AI uses different tests than the original SEO score. Now we will cover some tests that have color-coded results. Green means the content passed the test. Orange, that it partially passed. Red, that it failed, usually for having none, or almost none, of that component in the content. Dark red, on the other hand, means overused, when there's more than required to a point of exaggeration. In word count, Content AI will guide you on how many words to aim for. In link count, it will specify how many internal and external links to use, with URL suggestions so you can include quality references in your text to increase the content's credibility. In heading count, it will give the number of H2, H3, and other levels that should be in a text. And in media count, how many images and videos to place in the content. As for the keywords, you'll find suggestions for the content, headings, SEO title and description. It will show data for the ad competition, which indicates how competitive the keyword is for advertising campaigns, as well as the CPC, which refers to how much each click for this keyword would cost in Google Ads, and the volume, which indicates how many people are searching for this keyword. To use these keywords, simply click on one, and it would be copied to your clipboard, so you can place it anywhere inside your content. When you choose to use the keyword in content, you'll see another section below in the important keywords that would include the related keywords suggested by AI. AI also suggests frequently asked questions that you can use as headings for the sections of your text or the accordion block in Elementor or Divi. Gutenberg users can just click on the button to copy, then paste to the text automatically as a group with Rank Math's FAQ block, which is schema-ready to increase the chances of your content appearing as rich snippets in search results. Rank Math business and agency users can assign how many credits can be used by each site from their account page in rankmath.com in the Websites tab. Each connected website will have a line called Content AI Credits, with the amount and a link to set the limit. Now it's time for you to try out Content AI. Take it for a spin and tell us what you think. We love getting your feedback to make sure we're always improving our new features. If this tutorial helped you, give it a like. If you have any questions, Click on the link in the description to open a free support ticket. You can find more tutorials in our knowledge base at rankmath.com kb.